Robotic engineers in Japan are putting the final touches on an invention that's expected to take a giant leap forward for robot kind. They're getting ready to send the first talking robot into space. The plan is it'll keep astronauts company during their long stays, as well as give researchers ideas for how to help people who struggle with loneliness on Earth. NHK World's Jun Yotsumoto has the story. They can speak. They can play soccer. Robots can do much more these days than ever before. This business in Tokyo's Akihabara neighborhood has some of the latest robot technology on offer. We have a variety of robots, cute ones, with soothing functions, and those controlled by radio. Nowadays, robots are a lot closer to us in our daily lives. You won't find this robot in stores, though. It's called Kirobo, a combination of the Japanese word kibo, meaning hope, and robot. A group of academics and engineers has been developing it to send it to the International Space Station this summer. Kirobo won't just visit the station. Its mission is to heal astronauts. Many who stay in space for a long time suffer from loneliness. The people who made the Kirobo hope it will provide some company. The 30 centimeter tall robot weighs one kilogram. It's undergoing feasibility test in a zero gravity state created inside an aircraft. Before long, researchers at a leading automaker will equip Kirobo with the latest voice recognition technology. Then it will be able to communicate in Japanese. It will make the trip to the space station this summer. Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata will head there at the end of the year for a six-month stay. He'll do something no one's ever done in space before, speak with a robot. Kirobo creator Tomotaka Takahashi says he hopes the pair will become buddies. He and his colleagues are putting the finishing touches on the robot. Once it's in space, we won't be able to fix it, so we must make sure it's in perfect condition. I hope it reaches the station all right and starts working without any problems. Project leaders are interested in seeing how effective Kirobo is at keeping people company in space. They envision robots one day helping to alleviate loneliness on Earth among the elderly and other members of society. Junior Tsumoto, NHK World, Tokyo.